guys, it's Mina. Welcome back to another nighttime raining episode. <laughs> um, I was watching a video of mine today called Zenith where we explored doing a dirty cup straight pour with thicker paint. And I really loved the color combination that I used in that one. There was permanent deep violet and there was Prussian blue and there was you know white and gold and, and uh, crimson, quinacridone crimson that was just really pretty. It was a beautiful combination and I haven't really done a thick, thick consistency, dirty cup, straight pour in a well. So that's what we're gonna do. And I had an idea that I kinda wanna explore a little bit that I think might be kinda fun. So this is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. I've taped the back and put my push bins in. Let me get rid of this part. Okay. So before we get started, I actually wanna show you the pour that we did on Tuesday. The Sapphire Galaxy. Yeah, wasn't the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> so this is Sapphire Galaxy. Um, it's pretty much dry. The center is probably not completely dry yet, so I'm not going to be touching it. But it did turn out really, really cool. I really love the center in here. I love those cells. I love that darker purple, the dioxazine purple. I love the turquoise. Um, you still see a little bit of the apple green, for those of you that were fans, or green apple. Uh, we got some pretty gold cells on the bottom. Let me lay it down so you can actually see it. Um, the interesting thing to me is that that sapphire, I think, is one of the matte metallics. And it definitely does look a lot more matte than the Golden's Dioxazine Purple, which is kind of shiny. So that's kind of trippy to me. But I do really love this, and this probably will get a coat of varnish, spray varnish, to sort of pick up some of those metallics and make them pop a little more. I love this area here where it was the straight pour and we poured the ring pour in it so it spread that out but this almost looks like marbling so that turned out really really cool i'm very happy with this i love the way it looks so this one was the sapphire galaxy pour which was the straight pour and the ring pour so that turned out really cool and then let me show you the little test piece we did on the spinner by la fiona <laughs> So this is, this is actually the first time I really looked at this. Again, you see that sapphire is a little more matte because it's part of the matte metallics from DecoArt. Um, what's interesting here is the dioxazine purple dried really dark, like almost looking black, but it's kind of cool. I love those lines from the split cup. And um, a very nice viewer had left a comment that perhaps I was rushing and spinning a little. <laughs> A little fast and I was impatient and I need to breathe a little bit and really be in the moment I think and pour it slowly and turn it slowly rather than being impatient to get it done so I will play with that one more time maybe not tonight because it's getting kind of late and it's raining and it's cold but definitely another time but this is really cute I like how this one turned out so very fun I like the gold I like the little bit of cells here I like that there aren't a whole bunch of other cells but I do love these lines that opened up from the split cup. That's really neat. So that was our little test piece. Let's start layering our cup. I'm actually gonna layer two cups. For a 24 by 24, we need 21 ounces of paint. And I actually wanna do two straight pours. So I'm probably gonna fill, these are 16 ounce cups, so I'm gonna probably go to about this line right here, which is probably about 11 or 12 ounces, and that's okay. That's perfectly fine with me. So the first color we're using, I guess I should show you that first. This one is Amsterdam Blue Violet, which I love. So my paint is thick, mixed with Liquitex Gloss Medium, and Floetrol, and the paint, and a tiny bit of water in this one, I believe. So this is gonna be the first color that we put in, so everything's sort of swimming in. Uh, the next one I have is Liquitex Basics. This is Thalo Blue, and I wanted to use this one versus one of the Golden's ones because I really like that bright blue pop and I think this is going to be really pretty inside of that. So this next one is Arteza's Bordeaux Red and I have added just a, a little bit of my 24 karat gold in there just to give it a little bit of sparkle and brighten it up just a bit. But that's such a beautiful color. I love this. That's Bordeaux Red from Arteza. Okay. Then I have Amsterdam White with a little bit of my Satin Enamels in Pure White. Nice and thick, leaving a mound on a mound. And then last but not least is our gold. Okay, the 24 karat gold. I am gonna be using this one as my 
flow extender slash base coat because I do want to get some of those cute little gold cells popping up. So this one is very, very thin, barely leaving a mound and then sinking. I probably will thin this out just a touch more. And then this one is started out as 24 karat gold, but then I started putting other golds in it. <laughs> And it was actually a little bit thin because I made a mistake and I thinned out the wrong one. <laughs> so then this one was too thin and I was like, oh no. So I actually have put some of the Vallejo Pearl Medium in here and it's very pretty. It's a beautiful, soft, kind of champagne-y color now. Gorgeous. I really like this a lot. So, all right. So let's do this. What is it Po says in Kung Fu Panda? Enough talk. Let's fight. <laughs> Enough talk, let's pour. Let's pour, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna start with, we're gonna do a dirty cup, which is a layered cup would be me pouring it carefully on the side and you see all these pretty layers. A dirty cup, I'm gonna pour some of the purple in the bottom of each one, probably about up to that bottom line, about two ounces. And then I'm gonna pour the other colors in from up high. So, let's start. I'm gonna pour some of that in there, probably about that much. This one, about the same. Okay, now I want to use some of that blue, the phthalo blue. I'm going to pour it from up high right into the center. Okay, now we're going to, let's give it a shot of white, or both of them. So with a straight pour, I'm pouring it from up high because I want it to sink underneath the surface of the purple. And okay, now we're gonna use some of our Bordeaux red. I'm not layering it carefully down the side to lay on the surface. I want it to go underneath. Okay, now we're gonna use some of our gold. another shot of our purple and both of those and some blue again we're getting close to where I want to stop so okay let's put another quick shot of white in there not a lot come in with some of the red So we have our two cups that we're going to do as a straight pour. And we're going to pour these. Okay, let's see where we're going to thin this out a bit. Oh, it's not bad. It's just going to fill a little bit more water. Okay. All right, that's better. All right, so I want to do like a diagonal sort of idea, and one over here and one over here. So we're gonna pour this one over here. Okay, let's do this. Wow, that's such a pretty cup. Look at, <laughs> look at those cells on top, just gorgeous. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love, as you wish. Okay, we're gonna go from up high and do a straight pour.
いたろう。Take our thinned out gold and we're going to go around both of these. Should have let it do the fingerlings because I like the way that that looks. But I think that one's going to stretch out really neat. Smell that so much in here versus when we were outside, I never smelled it.、So. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is really cute. I don't know if you guys can see these itty bitty teeny tiny cells right in there, are really beautiful. So we're gonna go down to that corner first and kind of walk this down the canvas, trying to keep it as much one piece as possible. You see, the gold is thinner. You can see the gold moving faster, but that's okay. We're good still. We're just going to go down off of that bottom edge. So. Ooh, this is so pretty up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is going to be awesome.
kind of trippy. <laughs> Super cool. That's really cool. I, mean, I have all these urges to mess with it, but I think it's it's going to do some awesome things by itself. Hot rod flags. You get them with the hot rod flags. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> okay. Don't mess with it. Well, I'm going to mess with it a little bit. Okay, this corner is just missing a little bit of paint right here, so I'm gonna take what's in my cup and just go over that edge. Okay, and this I'm not crazy about. So I'm gonna come through here. can take more paint off and I probably will take a little bit more off but we'll see um, this is very cool this over here I assume is your hot rod flames that you're talking about <laughs> this is awesome this is cool this is really pretty this is beautiful I really like this this is very soft and subtle and I kind of want to take some of this off and stretch out the purple and just leave a little bit of this which I think I'm gonna do that because it feels like there's still just a little bit too much paint. So we're gonna walk this down just a little bit, nice and slow. And sort of get that moving a little bit and go down off of that edge. I don't want to leave too much paint on here since it is kind of thick. I really like that purple. Okay. The weight of the paint back to the center. Here I even stretched out your hot rod flames for you. Look at that. <laughs> do we like this and all of this? Or should I tilt some of that off, do you think? Uh, there's something that look pretty cool if it's stretched out. We can do that. Well, maybe. Get the weight of the paint lined up there. I don't know. This is kind of neat though. Mm -hmm. You like that part? Mm -hmm. So you like it like it is? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Let <laughs> me wipe my hands off real quick and we'll get one more torch. This one might not be available for the, to the public. <laughs> I might abscond with this one. <laughs> Hang it up in the back cave. <laughs> yeah. line of gold from where the two of them, the two pores met. That's pretty cool. There's some little pearl cells over there popping up, some popping up over here. This is really pretty. A bunch of the Bordeaux red cells coming through. I really love that phthalo blue with the white. Your hot rod flames with the purple and the gold outlining. That's pretty cool. It looks like lightning almost. I don't know about this thing. 
but <laughs> I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> but this looks pretty cool. I think it would probably go this way for you. How's that look? Is it in frame? There we go. That's it. Righteous. Okay. Well, this turned out pretty cool. I will show you guys this one on Sunday and some amazing news on Sunday. Fiona from Fiona Art and I will be having our collaboration. So that's going to be really, really exciting. And uh, we're going to do premieres for you guys so you guys can sit and chat with us and talk. I think it's going to air at 12 o'clock and then the other one's at 1230. So I think mine's at 12 and hers is at 1230. That's going to be this coming Sunday. And uh, it's going to be fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So I've been practicing the flower dips. We'll see how I do. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here with us. I will see you on Sunday. <laughs>